are at SHOT Show 2023. I'm with John from Timber Creek Outdoors, and we're getting ready to talk about this chassis. This is awesome. Yeah, Chris, appreciate you having us. Um, how many interviews have you done today? This would be number four. Number four. Yeah. All right. So we're not number one. We're, or we're number four. So we're still high on the list. That's yeah, what I was getting Still high on the list. We, we appreciate yeah. you. So, yeah, uh, we uh, just introduced this uh, 22, uh, this, excuse me, this uh, Remington 700 short action chassis. Um, we're pretty, uh, you know, everybody says they're excited about their product, but for us, it's, it's new to us. We're still kind of learning as we go, but, you know, one of the main important uh, features is making sure that the geometry is correct for a Revington 700 and certainly all the clones that are out there on the market to be able to drop in and fit. But um, a couple things that, you know, uh, uh, that we've done with this is uh, first, you know, the weight overall is really nice, you know. So, uh, you know, a lot of times people are saying, well, you know, we're, we're going to, you know, stack a bunch of things on top of this gun so we're not really concerned with weight. But we did a QD uh mounting plate on the back so you can kind of see this one that i'm holding in my hand we have our carbon buffer tube on it uh, a lot of guys with 22 or, or excuse me with the 700 chassis you know they're they're building them out super heavy and we've actually built guns with an action on here that have had in the high six pound range right we got a gun here that's in that high seven pound range and then we got one up on the tripod in the front that's like in that 15. right and so uh, a couple of the guys you know from uh from our company um, you know, have served in the military and they have experience carrying that type of gun around. And so one of the things that we didn't intentionally design, but by default happened was the balance point on them, on some of those guns with the can um, and how they carry them. The, the gun just uh, holds uh, well from a carrying perspective, but then as you're shooting, uh, certainly you get all the benefits that, a, you know, chassis will nice. present to you. So. I really like the smag, smag yeah. release here. So, yeah, you know, uh, we've had some interesting feedback on both of this. We thought, you know, we didn't want to do something different just for the sake of doing it different. But, you know, you get a lot of purchase on that. And I think for the enthusiast, that's going to be good. Um, but we had a couple of guys say, you know, I might bump that and drop it down. We're, we're actually going to... Uh, prototype and have in line uh, a secondary uh, mag drop in here your traditional in line to the trigger guard so they can get what yeah, they want exactly nice. exactly so we're short action we're running on what kind of mag the the ai mag yep, yep. AI so mags. yeah okay. that's that's gonna be good and then our uh you know a lot of things people are familiar with is the m lock you know um we 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 didn't want to go crazy uh on you know detail work However, we knew we we're going to offer this in 10 different colors. Right. So we wanted to make sure that we had enough detail in there to kind of make it pop. And comparatively to some on the market, they're, they're wonderful. But we, we're because we're putting 10 different colors on here, right. you know, we, we, we were happy with the, uh, the accents that it you know, came up with. Yeah, everybody watching this right now seeing the red. And they're like, yeah, Chris is going to end up with that red one. Yes, they sir. already know. <laughs> yeah, no, we could probably get this inside that, inside that pocket there. Yeah. So, but yeah. Yeah. Um, that, that's it. We're, we're excited. Uh, we do have some other stuff, you know, and uh, we're going to build on this platform, right? So the short action here, uh, we actually have some plans to do a 1022. We we got that in prototype right now. Yeah. Uh, and then certainly, you know, uh, a long action uh, would be next. So, you know, similar to a lot of the products that Timber Creek has had, you know, we, we've introduced stuff uh, and then kind of built on those platforms. So, so we're um, looking to, uh, do we have like a base msrp that we're thinking about already yeah, uh we we do um but yeah this this is uh our msrp right there 599 and so competitively for the decoration that's on there it's you know this is something that we're uh we think we're oh, gonna yeah. sell well yeah well we know it's actually we just we just launched we had a few dealers uh had the opportunity to order before the show right. as we're as we're sitting here uh, you know, it's it's drawn a lot of interest and we're getting some numbers going. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah, there's a lot of buzz around it. So yeah. uh, we're going to show you what one looks like assembled. So, you know, here's an example, you know, AI mag uh, on a built chassis. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, this particular, uh, we have a supplier that we work with for some of our carbon stuff. This is one of their actions that they make, but, you know, really lends itself well uh, to, you know, putting this type of platform on there. So. You know, the guys uh, from an enthusiast standpoint can really decorate the gun, but get all the advantages of accuracy, right. tight tolerances, you know, that type of stuff. A few questions I've had, ha you know, pop up here. Some guys are going, well, how, how wide of a barrel can I get in there? Well, you know, typically it's going to be, as long as your action that drops in here, it's it's to that or less, you're going to be able to get in here. Right. Approximate is like 1.35 inches. 
Um, but yeah, you know, um, the, the details uh, that, that we've done, the through holes, uh, the blind pockets, you know, just different things that, that we've done in this that uh, have really, really allowed us to, you know, hopefully have a lot of people build really solid guns. Gorgeous. Um, but Beautiful again, one sound. comment I had a couple guys make was, oh, it doesn't look like, you know, it looks like too short. We're concerned with length of pull on certain stocks. Obviously, this is an adjustable one. Right. But it's a little bit, because it's so compact, we actually started off with one that was about two inches longer. And we peeled it back. Uh, you know, we did, we weren't looking for a very, you know, an extreme minimalist one. Right. It's something very, uh, very compact, but also you could build, again, those light guns, like I shared with you, up to a 15-pound rattle can, you know, put a suppressor on the end and the whole the whole nine. Well, John, I really want to thank you for taking the time. You bet, Chris. To, uh, Hopefully this. we answered so, all your questions. Yeah. If not, you know, people can get on our site and... Yeah. Uh, check all the detailed information out there. Yeah. So, so find you on Instagram. Yep. Uh, you guys have a YouTube channel? Uh, do we have a YouTube channel? Like, I should know that. But <laughs> no. Okay. You know what? Let's start one. All right. There we go. <laughs> so Facebook, obviously, too. Yes. Yep. So, yeah. yeah. IG, guys, IG were real prevalent. Okay. Guys, check out Timber Creek Outdoors on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, 